Serena. Serena. Gabriela. Gabriela. Yes, mother. Where is Serena? Still in her room. Still in her room? Yes, ma'am. No. <laughs> she should be getting ready. She knows we are expecting cheese. And you'll soon be here. Uh, madam, I don't think she knows cheese is coming today. Uh, or maybe she's not happy about chief. I even heard her crying last night. No, no, do not talk to me about her feelings anymore. Don't she do knows. that. Because the last time I checked, she is very excited to be engaged to a wealthy man as Otumba. Look at all he's done for us just because of her. Ma, you know she's still young and she might still want to fall in love like the girls of her he age. He dare speak to me about love, Gabriela. No, do you just spoke to me about love? No, ma. Really? No. Love. Where was love when her father abandoned us for that old cargo woman in Greece? Now I'm asking you! Never you speak to me about love again. Yes, ma'am. Now I need you to set up the table for breakfast. Otumba will soon be here. And I want everything in. Absolute best. Yes, ma'am. What did I say? Absolute best, ma'am. Thank you. Brina! <laughs> the best part oh i don't care listen to me you because if you continue like this you are going to ruin the best part of the day all right what is today well today is the special day made by the almighty and both of us shall rejoice and be glad in it in a nutshell chief otumba i mean your husband to be is visiting us today ha huh. me i'm not marrying him man. Hmm? Hi, darling. That would have been possible if you got a choice. But you see, in this case, my darling, you have no choice. Listen to me, I'm just going to make it very simple. Yeah, I'm going to explain the actual situation we are in right now. Your father, I mean, your useless father. My ex-husband conned me, took away every dime I worked for, leaving us to suffer and die. All right? Our only means of survival is Chief Otumba, whom God brought our way to ensure we do not go back to the touched mud house in the village. And that can only be possible if you, my daughter, will listen to me and know that as a mother, I want the best for you, which is to marry him. So listen, allow me to finish, my darling. So you are going to chin up, hmm? dress up in your best outfit, because I need you, as a matter of fact, to be in your best behavior today. Mom, listen. Mm. Mom, we can go our fridge and strive our way back up. Huh? <laughs> I can stop school if you want. You listen to me. And as your mother, I say a capital no to that. Listen to me. I know what is best for you. Okay? You should count yourself lucky. As his third wife, <laughs> same age as his five kids. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Listen to me. It, don't, it does not matter. A lot of graduates out there. I mean, you're so many graduates. Are actually waiting for this opportunity, this golden opportunity. Yeah, there are a lot of graduates with the hope of, you know, after school, they will just get a good job and marry a wealthy man. And here you are on a platter of gold, you have the opportunity of marrying a wealthy man. Yes, Otumba. And here you are telling me what you want. No, darling, I'm your mother. I know what is best for you. And what is best for you is Chief Otumba. My darling, 
you should count yourself lucky. Okay? And you should appreciate me for my efforts for trying to make sure that you have the best life. So in a nutshell, it's a tumba or nobody. <laughs> Go get dressed. Your daughter is such a beautiful young woman. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> I thought you well, like her. Yeah. <clears throat> Thank you, your brother. Mm -hmm. All right. Hmm. Hey, now. Why don't you tell Chief about your artistic hobbies? Tell me. I'm excited to hear that. Hmm? <laughs> Serena. <laughs> <laughs> I love to draw and I also love to sing. Yes, a very good singer. Really? Voice is angelic. <laughs> you know, uh, three of my sons, you know, they draw too. Wow. And uh, I sent them to the United States of America to study arts proper. And my daughter, she's in UK studying music. Wow, the UK? Yeah. The UK! <laughs> <laughs> All five of your children you sent abroad to study. And you want to marry me. Have you ever considered if I would want to go to school? Would you have given your daughter out if anyone asked? Serena, Serena. Will you just shut that trap you call him out right now? No, Mom. I will not have you give me out like I'm not a person. Um, let's have calmness here, okay? <clears throat> uh, it's okay. Mm. It's okay. Yes. Uh, Serena, there's something you don't know yet, okay? Um, I like you so much, and I'm prepared to take good care of you. Yeah. <laughs> when your sons and daughters marry men and women, old enough to be their parents, then you can come and ask for my hand in marriage. Excuse me. It's okay. It's okay. Sarina. It's okay. Um, Sarina. I, I think... Come back here! It's okay. It's okay. I think we should just give her some time to adjust. Mm? But in the meantime, um, I'll make a transfer of 10 million. Yeah. What? M <laughs> what? 10 million? Yeah. Chief, for me. <sighs> no, Chief, now let me go and bring her to follow you home immediately. No, Chief, it's okay, it's she okay. needs to follow you immediately. She will like No, you. whether the devil likes it or not, we are in love. So she, right she will accept. You are the big deal, it's the a, real deal. It's a matter of time. Just allow her. Hmm? Ah! <laughs> Serena! <laughs> Tell me your chief. Uh, mm -mm. I will you. even do more. Thank yes, you. Yes, that, consider that a chicken change if, uh, Thank you. you know, this thing goes through and we become in-laws. Chief, it has already gone through. We are in-laws already. <laughs> no, she's answering your son name already. <laughs> There's no two ways about it. Uh, I'm talking to you. I'm the mother. I yeah. know this, my girl, well. I know what you can do. She's not throwing tantrum, you know. I it's know okay. her. She has accepted. It's I know okay. what we discussed earlier. Yeah. It's okay. It's okay. Ah. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, if you know how much I <laughs> so cherish you to be my in-law, like, that's a dream. I know. Every woman's dream. I know. Ah, it's coming geez. to pass. <laughs> What in God's name is wrong with you? Are you possessed or something? Hmm? Serena, listen to me. I know that man very well. Yes, he's a good man. He's our own God sent on this earth. In fact, he's a God on this earth. The God we are seeing on earth. 
I know him too well. So I'm talking from the point of uh, experience. You can't keep staying there, spitting those nonsense out of your mouth about someone you don't even know. I know him and I know what is good for you. If you don't marry him, we will suffer. I don't want to suffer. Do you want to suffer? Let us suffer, mom. When did you become a gold digger? Did you just call me a gold digger? No, me securing our future, securing the bag, that makes me a gold digger. Is that it? Huh? Look at this girl. You're such an ingrate, do you know? Mom, I am not marrying that man. Hmm? you because in your entire life you have never paid any bills so you do not know what is actually going on in this wicked world okay fine moving on i do not want to see you drinking or eating anything i bought with my money in this house yes whatever pay i paid with my money i do not want you going close to it i will so deal with you serena I will so deal with it till sleeping under the bridge becomes a loss for you. I promise you that. They are playing. Now I think I don't know. Oh, Jim and you. You don't eye, you don't eye. I bet, I bet, no follow, no follow. Chicken. Watch your lad, though. Play, 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 play. Play. Careful, careful, chicken. Oh, so, so I like this, you want to go out, Sabi. I like this, you want to go out. Yeah. Not this way, they do. See this guy. Never forget. Baba, forget, I did well, I did good, well. I did good. You know, you did well, why did they talk this way? Play your own Mosina. You don't say me, I don't say this way. What's your name? I won't call him my name, I'm broke. We don't need to call him. It's 735. How? Are you doing one? How? I'm on you. For the drink, for the drink now. Boy. How? Boy. Boy. How? Boy. How? Boy. How? You want to follow my man, they argue. This one is too much. How? What do you mean drink? What do you mean oh, drink? Yeah. Nah, 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 nah. Oh, yeah. I don't have to do it, I suppose. Yeah. You get money before. Yeah, you I don't get to. Now you get money. You. When I so wait, I'm calling money. Yeah, take it. I know, right? I know, right? Yeah. As I should. This guy Please put right. your this finger. Don't what's your What's your pool? What's your What's your pool? I don't want to. Because I don't want to. Because I don't want to. Why are you looking your face like chicken in gum? Here. Look here. Hey! Chicken! Chicken, you will not kill me or you will not kill me. You will not finish me. So after all the prayers and advice from Pastor Jacob, you still came to the devil's house to save your body! Chicken, what have I done to deserve a soul like you? Why have you chosen to frustrate me? Is it too much to ask for a day or a week of you being upright for once? Mommy. Son! The Bible clearly condemns everything you youngsters do in places Bible like this. The, the Bible preaches against drinking. The Bible clearly states the importance of keeping your, your body holy. I raised my son right. I don't kill him because I raised him to be God fearing. It's the two of you rascals. Uh, but, but we didn't do anything now. Will you keep, will you keep your mouth shut? Oh, sorry, ma'am. Shut up! It's so shameful that your mother is the chairman of Ministry of Eternal Divine Women. I'll make sure she hears of your exuberance. Yes, rest assured you won't sit on that octa list. Yeah, so and as for you, I will go to your school uh, and inform your lecturers uh, of how you've influenced my innocent son, of how you've taught my innocent boy how to smoke, drink, and do drugs. Just try me. We, we you don't, can, listen, I don't have time for this. Just follow me right now. Hey, follow, follow me. Right now. We, we don't, Stay away from me. Follow me. Mommy, we don't smoke. Let's go. 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 Let's go.
now. Shall I tell you? Say, I tell you me. Guy, I didn't guy. come out. I didn't come out. I didn't come out. Now, just the buy bottle to the drink up since yeah. morning. Wait till yeah. they come back. Right. <laughs> Coming. Jehovah is your name, mighty warrior, great in battle. Jehovah is your name. Jehovah is is your name, mighty warrior, great in battle, Jehovah is your name. Sing the long song. Yeah. Your name. Jehovah is your name. Yes, Father, you say Amen. you do it and you do it. I trust Amen. you, Lord. Amen. Ba, 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 ba. Yes, Father, you Amen. say you do it and I believe that you have already done it. It is your word. Your word is your word and I know that you have done it, Father. Jesus, you love me too much, oh. Too much, oh. Too much, yes, yes, love, oh. Oh, yes, Lord. Jesus, you love me too much, oh, too much, oh, too much, yes, yes, love, oh, yes, Jesus, Jesus, you love me too much, oh, too much, oh, too much, oh, yes, yes, love, oh, fire, 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 oh, yes, Lord, fire. Return to the abyss from whence they came. I come against you, all you spirits of waywardness, drunkenness, backwardness, lust, the spirits of lust, bad friends. Yes, I come against you. You are no match for the God that they serve. My mountain mover, my table shaker, you have said it is your will and that your will will be done. We come against you, the lion of the tribe of Judah, okay? We topple your stronghold and come against you. So fall, 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 yes, fall, fall. Hold my hands on, hold my, hold my hands Fire, 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 fire. We break whatever cause, any cause that it is that wants to destroy my family, that wants to destroy the life of my son, that wants to break whatever it is, whatever jinx, whatever cause, we break it now in Jesus' name. Amen. The grace, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. Father, we pray and we know that you have answered us. You answered us in Jesus' name. Amen. 
on it, son. Sleep well? Why not? All right, you go to your room. So, son, when you get to your room, you can also read Psalm 91, 95, and Psalm 100. All right? Good boy. Hey, Mama. Hey, son. Just how do you love me? I thought I was I thought I Mama. Uh oh. Mama. Where are you going to? Most of my friends. Which friends? Who else? Bob and Trent, of course. Same devils that got you drunk the other night, right? Mom, it's not their fault. We're having a drinking game. Drinking game. And they could not advise you to avoid alcohol. Right? They were cheering you on. Listen, Chike, if you do not want my trouble, go back into that room and cancel every plan of meeting with them. No, I'm not going to do that. Not. You see, you're being rebellious because of their influence. Their evil influence has eaten deep into you. Why are you saying this? You're being ridiculous. I mean, they just they did nothing wrong. Chike, so instead of you to fast and pray that nothing should spoil your plans of traveling out, commit this your last few days in Nigeria to getting closer to God, you want to do what? You want to go there and party and tell your friends your plans of leaving the country. Those your demonic friends that will surely ruin your plans with jealousy. Mom, they are good people. They're from good families. They can travel abroad if they want to, but they just don't want to, and there's nothing wrong with that. Everything is wrong with it, son. All right? Your families can afford to send them abroad, but refuse to. It's a clear sign to show you that your families know the kind of rascals and gangsters they have as children. Haven't you heard the saying? Nobody samples the mad sibling. Yes, everyone hides their dirt. <laughs> I forbid you from living. I'm not I'm going, I'm yeah. going, I'm going. I mean it, oh, I mean it. Sometimes I hate why I'm being born here. <laughs> Bro, hello? We're outside Club Carbonia, but the Barca will let us in. Uh, tell him you're with me now. He said he needs to see you first. He wants you to do the usual. Uh, wait, Chiki, I thought you said you were coming around. Damn, um, my mom forbids me from coming out. <laughs> At your age. Damn, I know, right? Well, let, let me just see what I can do about it right now, okay? I'll call you back. I'll be there.
Otumba is here. He came to take you out to buy your favorite ice cream. So you dress up and go meet him. He's waiting outside in his car. But it's already late. Already late? No, what do you know about lateness, if I may ask? Because it's just 8 p.m. So, and besides, who sleeps in Lagos? Hmm? Okay, get up. What if he kidnaps me? Wait a minute. Where and how do you get all those ridiculous thoughts from? Like, how? How? Come, my friend. Do not provoke me. I don't want to get angry. I don't even want to argue anything with you. Just do as I said. I don't want to come back again. Get dressed and meet me downstairs. Seem to have enjoyed the death. Hmm? So, uh, I felt like we should have done this in the daytime. Serena, what's the problem? You don't seem to like me, eh? Ah. Listen, I can change your life. Yes, I can send you abroad just like I sent my children. Hmm? Yes. Ah. Just, why don't you just see that I really love you? I love you and want the best for you. So you're the best for me? Ah. Serena, anything, anything that betters your life is good for you. And I am here to better your life. So well, I'm no. Good for you. No. I don't want to get married to you. I want to go back to school. I don't want to get married to you. Uh, I will give you anything. All you need to do, just accept me. Simple. Yes. Well, I'm not accepting you and I'm never. Uh, it's okay. Don't worry. Hmm? I'm going to take good care of you. I mean, when next you look yourself up in the mirror, you will recognize yourself. <laughs> <laughs> eh? You understand? So, you understand? Come on. Look at you insolent cow. Look at the girl I want to help. I want to change your life and you are misbehaving. It's job. Nonsense.
How is she doing? Someone will come check up on her, okay? Yeah. Um, Mr. Mike, have you called your mom? I have been trying to reach her. Her number is not going through. Hmm. Um, you have to wait till money. So if it doesn't go through, you have to go home and call her to come, okay? I understand. But how's the girl doing? Um, my mother says she's in a way coming, but I really need you to do something for me. Be mindful of what you say around her. You know how women can be, mothers especially, okay? She won't take it lightly that you eat our daughter, but I am happy that you are in a good position to take up the situation. Not like some eat and run kicking up pep drivers. Take up the situation? Mm hmm I don't understand. Well, that is why I said you should call your mother. Hi! Oh no! Oh no! Doctor! Where is, is the bastard that hit my child? Madam! I'm the mother! Where is the bastard that almost killed my child? Madam, you need to come that this is a hospital. You can't be shot. Don't tell me to come that! No, no, no! I will not have you talk to me about coming down here. My only child! My only child almost died this evening! You're asking me to come down! Come down for what? No! Dad! Let up! Show me the best! Who hit my child? Sorry, it wasn't intentional. It was an accident. Wait. You. Was it? Oh! 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 You want to call security? You want to call security? Listen, by the time I'm done with this devil, by the time I'm done with it, where's my child? What are you going to come from this hospital? Show me my daughter! You can't be shouting, yeah? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Mrs. Naomi, she's stable now, but she'll be out in a couple of hours. Mm-hmm. My angel. My angel. My sweet, sweet best girl. Look at what this godforsaken boy wants to do. Wants to kill you for me. Uh, huh? I am so sorry, Ma. It wasn't intentional. Sorry for yourself. In fact, may thunder strike that thing you come out. Excuse me, It wasn't Miss intentional. Naomi. Wait for me. By the time I'm done with you, you see, you want to cripple her. This I is promise a, you, I this, don't want to see him. This is a hospital. You can't shout in here. Tell him, tell him, just tell him to, tell him to be here. This is Excuse a hospital. Me too. What is wrong with this woman? Mr. Chike? Mr. Chike? You need to be strong till your mother comes, okay? Please have your seat. I'm fine. Listen, I am tired. I'm, I'm sorry, sir. Tired about what? Don't play games with me. Did you hear me? You know the bundle of rubbish you packaged to me as a daughter for marriage? No. I no, don't please. want her anymore. I regret wasting my time oh, and money on please, such please, a please, stupid please, girl. In the name of God, please calm down. I am promising you as a mother, I'm doing my possible best. Serena will marry you. Oh, Serena will marry you. I'm sure she'll marry you. I'm working. Listen, yeah? I don't want her anymore. You can keep her for as long as you care. I want to see how she manages to travel out and go to school without my support. You know you are our only hope, but my only support system. Teach your child an atom of respect and obedience.
Is she going to leave? Doctor says she's going to be fine. It will only take some time. Hey, my goodness. You see what your stubbornness has caused? Mom, I was driving and it showed out of nowhere. It, it, I wasn't expecting it. You should have expected it when you went against my instructions. Ah, cheeky, cheeky. <laughs> you're no longer going abroad, though. Yes, you're not. Just cancel that from your agenda until we've fixed what you've done. What if she had died? You would already have blood on your hands at, at such a tender age. Chiki, what is this now? Oh, no, no, no. I, I need to speak to the doctor. I was on my own. Just driving. And then you showed up. Do I deserve this? Now see what you've, see what you've done. See what you've done, Dad! Head screw on straight, he won't be caught driving. What? What is a 23, 22 years old boy or whatever? How old is he? Doing on the road? Hmm. The kind, ready? the kind that would let her turn to one year old out on the street by night. Is she a harlot? Madam, better watch your mouth. You better watch your mouth. Else, else, else. You don't want to test my anger. Mm. What is? When your daughter wakes up, you caution her as well. Perhaps if she wasn't lollygagging by the roadside, we would not be in this mess. It is enough, both of you. What is this? I don't care. She and her son are going to pay for all the damages that cost me and my daughter mentally, physically, and emotionally. Mrs. Naomi, I understand. But please, can you let me speak? Go ahead. Good. Will you let the woman finish talking? Serena has a badly dislocated ankle of which we have repositioned and also stabled her. She doesn't have much of the external bruises or more of the internal. She also sustained a minor injury on her lower back of which we have worked on too, but she might not be able to work. No, 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 Tell me you are kidding me. Can eh? you allow me to finish talking? Okay, okay, okay. You just said my daughter will not be able to walk. You are creating a scene. No, in which means this bastard has crippled my daughter. Will you let the woman talk? No, no, no. Did you not hear her say that? Your son, your bastard son has crippled hey, my daughter. Hey, son. I never Watch said it. she was Watch crippled. It. So make it make sense. Why are you confusing me with your English? Hmm? No, you're, making, you're trying to make me look like a mad woman. You said she will not work again. So explain it in a layman terms. She might not be able to work for a few months, but with good therapy and proper care, she will get back on her feet. Um, Doctor, hold on a minute. You said her ankle was dislocated and you fixed it. Why then can't she walk? It is as a result of both physical and mental shock. So, how long? It depends. Mm -hmm. For now, she needs all the love and the support that she can get. She also needs somebody that will take her around and get her whatever that she wants. <laughs> Obviously not me. I can never do that. Listen to me, doctor. I am a busy businesswoman. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, wow. This issue can make me abandon my business. Mm. I'm sitting my axe here. Mm. Do you what? I no. thought you no, said no, no, you no, no, no. loved your daughter. Why can't you not sacrifice a couple of naira to sit with her? Because I haven't sounded you a dirty slap. That's why you, <laughs> you've been running in your mouth. Listen to me. No, you listen to me, this useless woman. I can what? see you are mad. I do not have plans for that. Mm. Okay? I did not plan waking up to be uh, 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 taking care of my daughter in the hospital. And, no. And neither did I plan for my son here to hit anybody. Okay? Chica is supposed to be in the United Kingdom right now, for God's sake. In the United Kingdom, are you let him to be driving by that time of the night? Hmm? Can I suggest something? 
You are paying the bills. Me? <laughs> Never. Not on my life. I am not paying a dime. No! Can you calm down? You're shouting in my office. Doctor. I'll call the security, please. Doctor. Doctor, I will handle everything. You better do. <sighs> Miss Tucci. Your son wasn't supposed to be driving without a license. God bless you. Now I have been so kind to keep the situation hush. No law enforcement has been contacted. I am not blackmailing you. Mm. But it will be good enough that you put your son to the tax of taking care of Miss Serena. Eh? At least that would excuse me. Not under my watch. Ex Listen to me. I do not want this god forsaken son of a bastard near my daughter. So you know what you are saying. Yes, you know what you are saying, Doctor. Madam, I'm going to walk you out of my office. <laughs> walk me out when my child is laying there, dead almost. Crippled, you said. Um I'll I'll, I'll talk to Chiki. I hear you, Doctor. Not on that my watch. I am not letting this bastard animal close to my child. Then you should do it, Miss Naomi. You should do it. I should do it myself. I thought you guys have nurses here. Wait, let me even ask you. Are you on my side or on their side? I am not on anybody's side. All I want is the best for Serena right now. And that is it. I'll talk to Chiki. Mm. What? No, you can be seriously be considering leaving me here with these people. What else should I be considering? Huh? You want me to hire a nanny. Hire a nanny and pay her for her time, eh? But you can afford it. <laughs> it's today I know you're very stupid. In fact, I'll make sure you stay here and take care of that girl 24-7. The time spent will help to straighten you up. Since I've waited for a miracle and I haven't seen it, I'll personally make that miracle happen. When you know I cannot do this. Look at this whole place. Look at everywhere. The nurses think of sickness. Everybody thinks of sickness. The whole place, the painting on the wall. And hey, 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 Mr. Unfortunate. Better get used to it. Okay. That's a list of what you can do and not do around my daughter. Any attempt to mess it up, I will make you and your stupid family suffer dearly for it. Promise you. Mom, see, see. You're on your own now. You're actually very lucky I'm not making you pay the bills by yourself. Oh my God. Is there no way that I don't have to be here every day? Like I can come and go back. You guys have nothing, somebody that can take care of her. I am so sorry, Mr. Chike. I wouldn't suggest if there was. No. Mr. Chike, it is just for tonight. After today, you can go draft out a timetable on how you want to come tend to her every day. See, you don't get it. I can't. I can't do this. I can't. You don't have a choice, do you? Look at her. She's done much work. I'm counting on you on this. Please let us know when she's away, okay? You can do it. Thank you. Yes. I had to come see how you're doing. I'm not doing good. Me neither. But you've got to admit you did wrong. But I said I'm sorry. It's not that easy, son. What else do you people want from me? What else should I do? Exactly what you're doing right now. Redemption comes at a price. Mom, I'm not here for all your biblical lessons. 
You see this attitude of yours? That's what brought you here in the first place. What, what, what do you expect? Tell me, what do you expect? I, I have my friends that I'm supposed to be with. I have a whole lot of things I have to do. I have a travel trip to to, 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 to. What else do you want me to do? How do you think I'm supposed to feel while I'm here? Hmm. Chiki, my boy, let me ask you a question. How many of your friends have called you since yesterday? No. You see this girl you put here in the hospital bed? Do you think she doesn't have friends and places to travel to? Hmm? She does. But she cannot go because you put her here. So being stuck here, taking care of her, is the least punishment you can serve to get a taste of what she's going through. Shall pass me, my son. <sighs> Good night. Long. I'm out of okay. here. Down the volume of the phone, please. Oh my god. Your life. Am I supposed to be dead? Just 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 hold on a minute. Let me let me call the doctor. Doctor! they have on the menu. It didn't go through my throat. You're having appetite issues because you're sick. And whose fault is that? Did I put you in the middle of the road? You're not even old enough to be driving. If this is the attitude you're gonna keep giving, then maybe you don't need me here anymore. <laughs> you don't even have a choice. I need juice and pasta. That's what I want to eat. Hurry, I'm hungry. Baby, oh my baby. How are you? How are you? I hope that idiot is not disturbing you. Because I will kill him! Huh? Is it disturbing you? How is the tumba? I warned you. Did I not? Did I not warn you? I warned you! Did he tell you what he did or tried to do? No, what did he do? No, what did you do or try to do? Ordinary kissing. No, ordinary kissing. Oh, you think I don't know how you've been frolicking around with those idiotic estate boys? Because I don't talk. No, Serena, because I don't talk does not mean I don't see or hear things. I know all these things. Yes, I prepared you for this movement. I prepared you. What did you do? You went there and messed the whole thing up for me. Our only meal ticket. 
Our only chance of survival is Serena. You want to mess it up? Hmm? Serena! Oh. What is the cause of your problem? No, look into my eyes and tell me now. Because you are mad! You are mad! You are mad! You don't listen to me, your mother. No, you don't listen. I will tell you to do this, you go and do another thing. Eh? Say, now listen to me. I am going to write an apology letter called Otuma. Give it to you to read out to him. You read it in a way that you understand that you are truly sorry. Yes, you will do that. Mom, you are being insensitive. Like I'm on a wheelchair and all you're concerned about is getting on Tumba's good side. I am talking about our only meal ticket. You ruined it. I'm trying to see how we can recover him back. You are here telling me what? No, what, Serena? What? What? I'm done with this conversation. No, 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 don't, 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 don't even try it. Don't you dare. What do you mean? No, mom, I'm done. No, no, no. You just ruined our, our chances of getting... Uh, uh, Take me out of here, please. I need to go now. Who? What about the food? Are you deaf? Please, I need to go now. Go away. Eh? No, go away. No, you, you are taking her. Look at this one. You are doing what? Eh? Wait, oh. So you are taking her? Can you please turn that down? Look, let me tell you something. I am your caregiver, and whatever that is doesn't mean you have control over my life. Don't you know you're not supposed to be playing loud audio in a hospital? I feel like I'm going to have a headache. And watch me blame it on you if I have one. God. What have I done to this girl? What? Pasta is nice, though. No, please. Can you just eat the whole plastic, can you? It's just juice. Was it your car? What? The one you hit me with, was it yours? No, it's my mom's. Your mom gave you her car without it being licensed, so you stole it. Let's be realistic. I mean, who checks for driver's license anymore these days? Who does that? I mean, even if they do, I could call my mom. Or maybe pay 500 naira, or maybe say one or two kids' lines, and they'll let me go. <laughs> Thank you, though. For what? For not turning this into a hit and run situation. So trust me, I had no choice. If I could, I would. Thank God you couldn't. I'm sorry, now, by the way. She gives the name. So tell me, what were you doing hardly that night? Just some silly stuff. I went out with a friend and he turned out to be an asshole. I left the place immediately and oh, I was staring at two headlights. Wow. That's crazy. For me, I went to celebrate with my friends. I'm supposed to go to the UK, came back, I was a bit drunk, and that was it. Well. You were drunk driving? Um, just kind of a little bit tipsy here and there. I'm sure you saw me as a dummy or mannequin, and you couldn't help but run me over. Actually, it was a mannequin I saw. <laughs> oh my god, you're an animal. My mother should have you arrested and locked up, you crazy psychopath! Hey, calm down. Get out of my room. <laughs> Do you have any idea how long I have waited for you to say this exact words? My pleasure. Absolutely. Hey, Chiki, how are Don't you? Don't tell me anything, please. My God. Such a cycle. What is wrong with him? We are rolling.
What exactly do you want? Uh, Chief, not you know. I, I came to find out why I haven't heard from you after the last time. It's either you are sharing your daughter's stupidity or you're just playing as a dried comedian. Come on. <laughs> ah, Chief, <laughs> it hasn't gotten to names, calling or insults. Oh. You know you are my person now. Eh? Uh, Chief, wait, calm down. Eh? You don't have to insult me. Eh? You know I really like you and I want you for my daughter, right? And I said I'm no more interested in your daughter. What's it? Chief, now you can't be serious. No matter what she must have done, you know there's always a way we can fix things. Eh? She's young now. She's young? That's what you think? Ah, Chief, that's a baby. She's young. She's still learning. And I tell you something, she will definitely come true. <laughs> I'm putting her through. I'm trying my best to if make her If she order. is learning, I am not the one to teach her. Can't you get it? Chief, wait though. Are you aware she's in the hospital? How is that my business? How? If she had stayed in the car with me, would she have gotten herself in that accident? Eh? Children of these days, eh? They are very stressful. Chief, please, don't be angry. Oh? I know. Please, just take it easy. Calm down. She will definitely come around. I will make her apologize to you. Okay, please. You know what? Uh, Point blank. I am not interested. All right? Ah, Chief, no, no, you can't be serious. Chief, Chief, listen to me. It's me, oh, Chief. Get out of the. Now, wait. See? Chief, we can talk. I don't want to harm you. Get out. Chief, listen to me. Chief, Chief, calm down. Please. Doctor, mm -hmm. please, is there anything we can do about this? I mean, whatsoever amount of money you want from my mom, my mom can pay. I just want to show that I can get somebody to stay with her because me, Mr. I cannot Chike. do it. I'm sorry, I cannot can anymore. You calm down, please. Calm down. Mr. Chike, I still don't think it is possible because you are serving punishment, okay? Doctor, please. Doctor, doctor, there's a situation in what's it? All my efforts. You like twatting my efforts. And I tell you something, you see this particular one? I will never forgive you. I will not forgive you, I promise you. Yes. Mom, I don't want to marry him. I don't want to have anything to do with him. Why can't you not just get that? Because there is too much money involved. Marrying him will secure your future. Our future. For good. And that is what I'm fighting for. So, what is there not to get into this, your thief score? Why is it so difficult? For Christ's sake, why can't you understand where I'm coming from? If you like him so much, why don't you marry him and be his 20th wife or something? Oh, I would have if I could. But unfortunately, he does not want me. It's you he wants. You will have to marry him. You will marry him. I don't want to. Eh? Leave me alone, please. I look like a joke to you, right? Right now, I am going to make you apologize to him right now. Mom, I'm not doing I that. I am calling him. You, we have to do this. No, stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Excuse stand up. me, madam. What is going on here? What is it? Doctor, why are you raising your voice? <laughs> We're trying to straighten things up. Just you mother and daughter um, talk. Mrs. Naomi, I'll have to ask you to leave. Please? Yes. Hell no. We still have some unfinished business. Don't we, my darling? No, we don't. <laughs> but we're not done yet. We have Madam. to go to the cafe. For what? We made plans. Oh, plans. Okay. I'll be back later. Sir, 
Serena, are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. You know what? You don't have to worry. I'll have a word with your mother, okay? What? Why are you always fighting with your mom? It's none of your business. Thanks for the save. You know, I and my mom don't see eye to eye too, right? I mean, she will always want to control everything. My mom as well. You see, my mom, she wants to control how I breathe. She wants to control how I do everything I want to do. She just wants to be in control of totally everything about my life. I don't have any friends outside my mom's circle. She wants me to get married to the man she approves. I know how it is to be frustrated about Nobody understanding how you feel or how you think about things. It's crazy when it just feels most of the time like you're just... Trapped. Yes, you get me. See, my travel to the UK was supposed to be my escape from her. But then right now it feels like I'm not even going to have it anymore. Like I'm not going to go nowhere. Yeah. Nobody knows where we are. The irony is that... I'm glad that you hit me with your mom's car. Prior to me being stuck here in this hospital, I was on the verge of getting married to a monster of mine. And is that why you're fighting with your mom? She's just really sensitive about the whole situation. I'm her life. Thank you already. It doesn't matter. She doesn't want to address that fact. She's just all of us apologizing to me. I don't want to have anything to do with it. I just wish I'm you. I want to travel too. I want to go out of our reach now. No, you're not that bad after all. Wait. Am I supposed to be nice to the boy that hit me with his mom's car? Let's say for which we're drunk driving. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I know. Just trying to push your buttons. So now, can you tell me about you? Excuse me, Mrs. Naomi. Excuse me. Just a moment with you, please. You better talk fast. I'm running late. See, I am not here to listen to a bit of whatever you have between you and your daughter. Okay? Wait a minute. Who says we have something going on? Of course, we heard and saw everything too, Mrs. Naomi. Oh, really? Yes. You heard? Yes. Oh, meaning that you left your office mm. as a doctor mm. to be eavesdropping into mother-daughter discussion? <laughs> <laughs> no, tell me how much of that you heard. Not enough to make sense. See, all I'm here to tell you is I would advise you stop visiting for the next few weeks. You dare not. She asked Chike and the nurses would take good care of her. No way. Mm. No, 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 no. Wait a minute, doctor. Do you by any means realize what you're trying to ask me to do? Mrs. No, no. hold on. you telling a mother to stop visiting her child who is in the hospital. Mrs. Nahomi. Are you mad? No, make it make sense. You assaulted a patient. Do you know what that means at all? Do you? Well, not like the way you're trying to make it look. It's not that serious. Oh. You're just a dramatic queen. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> so let me let you know that Serena has 50-50 chance with those legs. And we cannot afford any more trauma. Do have a lovely day, Mrs. Naomi. Me, doctor, Excuse you cannot me, love my child more than me, the mother. No, no, no way. You stop playing. Stop playing. You can't love her more than me. And nobody will stop me from visiting my only child. Whatever.
Nurse, nurse, please, have you seen my son? Oh. Oh, there you are. Mm. Son. <laughs> Come here. Oh, good to see you. Yeah. I brought your food. Your favorites. Oh. There you go. So you finally remember you had a son. But I was still footing the hospital bills. Your feeding. I was paying for it. But you left. So you could learn the error of your ways. You know, just like I never completely abandoned you, God never abandons us. We're never alone. Sometimes when things get so hard, we often question everything. We say things like, why has God forsaken me? But in reality, he didn't forsake us. He merely moved to the side so we could struggle without him and learn a thing or two. I believe by now you must have realized that what you did was wrong. I'm sorry. Oh, I hear you. You know, I spoke to the doctor and I was informed of the girl's mother. I can't help but not be surprised because she actually looked very lousy. So I decided to come here personally and warn you, Chiki. I don't want you to have anything to do with that girl. Do you understand me? <laughs> I get it that you guys are getting along, but that's where it should end. That person doesn't look like someone you bring into a family such as ours. Wow. Where's all this coming from? It's coming from me, your mother. Okay? Listen, Chiki, I don't want you to get into any more trouble. So you have to listen and add her. It was this first disobedience that got you to this tragedy that you're in now. This is my second warning. If you want to be a person with an excellent future, just flee from her. Give her distance. All right? I've heard you. Good. That's my boy. Now, let's pray. Come on. Heavenly Father, I come to you today. I bring the life of Chike, my boy, my only son, into your hands. Hello. Wow, you made me so handsome. Because that's how I see it. It's beautiful. Is it good? Sure. I can't see. So, Mr. GK, this is Miss Abisola. She is a caregiver. Hi. Hi. And she's willing to take up your place here in the hospital. Your mom spoke to me and I really considered the situation. I sent a couple of messages to Serena's mother and she is on board. So I guess you are now free, Mr. Chiki. What do you mean by I'm free? You're free from taking care of Serena. You can travel if you want to. You can go perfect to your driving aside taking care of Serena, Mr. Chike. Are you kidding me? Hmm. Don't you want to leave anymore? I don't know. Excuse me, Mr. Chike. Have I done anything wrong? It is not about you, madam. Please give me a minute. I'll be back. Okay. Mm. 
Mr. Chike, a while ago you were complaining about this place. You couldn't stand it. Now you had the opportunity to leave and you're reluctant about it. Why, if I may ask? Huh? So this is it. No. This is what you have been doing with my daughter. You are the reason she doesn't want to stay focused. This is it. Madam, you, you need to stop. No, this is a hospital. You can't be doing this. Doctor, you listen. cannot. I won't take it from listen you. Listen to me. Listen to me. No matter listen. what. Listen to me. Listen to me. Doctor, why I call you? I do not want this distraction of a boy near my child anymore. You better do your job in this hospital, else you will have me to face. You can call me and be shouting. I am done. We I will warn you have... again. I will not Madam, repeat please, myself. I'll call the security on you. Each time you keep threatening with calling the security, call them. Call the please, damn security. Please. I do not want this thing around my child. I warned you, and this is final. Mr. Chike, you need to leave, please. Mom, please let him in. Let who in? He's leaving and it's only fair he says goodbye. Let him in. So he can continue to violate you, right? No, make it make sense. What do you even see in that boy? No, what do you think that boy can offer you? That wretched looking thing. That I'm sure he doesn't have up to 100,000, talk more of 10 million naira in his account. Does he have up to 10 million? Everything is not about money, mom. Oh, you're talking to me? What are you doing here? I'm asking you, what are you doing here? Oh, you still walked in here. Good evening. I just want to have a few minutes with her. So you can continue to corrupt her? Listen to me, young man. If your mother is happy with the bundle of disappointment she's raising, that can never be me. I would never allow you near my daughter. You can't corrupt her anymore. Oh, but I didn't. Get out. Get out! Leave now! No, get out of this place! Madam, what is it? You're screaming the whole hospital down! Tell you this... have other patients! My doctor, or whatever you are called, tell this nonsense boy to get out of this place. This is not me! You need to calm down! They are both young adults! What do you know about adulthood? No, you just want to teach me. Listen, she is my daughter. I know what is good for her. And as far as I'm concerned, her future is already mapped out. I won't let this distraction of a of a of a he goat come close to her. I tell you to hey! How dare you let your filthy hands on my son? Are you crazy? Did you just charge at me? No, but this is my no, no, no. Did I you just do that? that? Excuse me, just get out of my face. Calm down, calm down. Calm down. Excuse me, no, no, no. no. You want to be mad? 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 Chike, if you think you'll frustrate me, you have another thing coming. I'll send you to military school. You will go off to fight. As you've decided to use less of your life, you think I'll let you stay in my house and, and grow into this, this vagabond? I want you against that girl's family. And you went ahead and started kissing her. Did you even see me kiss her? Oh, just lie now and go to hell. Lie now and go straight to hell. So, mom, you see, I am tired. I am tired of you not seeing things and believing they happen. I am tired. Why are you being irrational, making decisions, and you're just being irrational? I am not being irrational. On the contrary, it's my very decisive character that has gotten you thus far. Chiki, a child who knows he doesn't have a father, a supporter, should be smart, should be wise, should be more careful. All right? Do, do, do you understand what I'm saying? I'm not finished. You can't be like every other person out there. Why can't you just understand that? How can I be like every other person? You don't even let me breathe on my own. You don't let me sleep on my own. You make every decision for me. Everything you do is just by you. I mean, I can't even make a decision. When, how, when are you going to realize I'm not your perfect son? Because you are lost. I am not lost, mom. I am not. Son, you're young and naive. All right? I was your age before now. Actually, I'm not even that much older than you are. You think you know everything, but you do not. You don't. 
it's not easy out there. And I don't want you making the same mistakes that I made. Okay? Just pull over. What? Pull over. Chicken, don't pull over! over. Chicken, don't embarrass pull me. Pull the car Do over! Don't embarrass me, Chicken. Hey! Hey! Chicken! What, what are you over. doing? I what am is tired. This? Like I said, I'm tired of you thinking for me, breathing for me, and sleeping for me. I am tired. Chicken! Chicken! Oh tired! Goodness. No, he did not just. Did. Did he just walk out of this car? Mrs. Naomi, I must confess, you have not been the best client in this hospital. But with the way things are going and for the sake of your daughter's health and a full recovery, she should remain in this facility. Why? I've already cleared all the bills. <laughs> Miss Naomi, it is not about the money. What is it then? No, hmm. tell me. At her mother, I said I do not want her to continue to remain in this hospital. I want her back home for better treatment. If you really care about her, you love her more than I do. You can be coming to check up on her if you like. <laughs> so what is so difficult for you to understand here? Mrs. Naomi, we do not only give medical help. There's also a therapy section. And your daughter is improving and opening up to our experts. Okay? I think as a doctor, you are beginning to overstep your boundary. Excuse me? In my daughter's life. You're acting like the mother. Listen to me. She is my daughter. I am her mother. I have the final say. Mm. And my decision, my dear, is final. Thank you. Why are you being like this? It's called being a mom and a father at the same time. I do the dirty work while you lay there and smile. <laughs> mom, I do not want to go home. Are you ever willing to do anything meaningful in your life? Are you? But listen to me, this time around, my love, we are going to play by my rules, not yours. I do not care anymore about your feelings, what you want or what you don't want. This time around, you go by my room, not by what you feel or think. So, no more what you want. Get ready. Let's go. Chief, it's 15 million and uh, I have been given by the end of this year to pay up or I stand the chance of losing my house. I mean the only roof over our heads to the bank. So, um, <clears throat> what about uh, Serena? How do you intend convincing her? Serena is my daughter. Convincing her wouldn't be a problem. All I need to do is to make her see reasons why she needs stability in her marriage. Okay. <clears throat> um, I give you two weeks. If you can get her ready in two weeks, I'll buy you a house. Huh? No, Chief. <laughs> Chief, no, yes. he, he didn't. He didn't say that. <laughs> Chief, yeah. do you know what he just said? You buy me a house. Ah, yes, uh, you want to finish me with that now? It's okay. Chief, two weeks. You buy me a new house. Yes. Ah, uh, Chief, you bust my head now. So you buy me a new house. Just do what I say. Two weeks. 
Chief, don't worry. No, it's sorted though. It's okay. You don't have any problem, Chief. It's okay, I trust you. New house. <laughs> Chief. Hmm. Mm. Thank you so much, sir. You're welcome. <laughs> I said that you're done. Hmm. your food? Are you not hungry? Hmm? Are you okay? I love to go to bed now. Bed? You don't want to eat again? I'm fine. You didn't even touch the food. Are you okay? Okay. Uh, would you be needing any help? No. Hey! I can drop that for you, you know. Should I come and gist with you? You know, something like that. Do, do you want me around? She's taking a nap in her room. Okay. Are you okay, though? I guess I'm supposed to be engaged to this really old chief by next weekend. I realized that I stand to lose our house if I don't. So what are you going to do? Don't try to think about it. <laughs> okay, uh, I'll go snacks. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Sure. So, what kind of new song I hear you sing? New song? Oh. No, not a new song. I kind of have everything written down. Oh, okay. I know a friend who goes right for Mega Boy. Mega Boy? Yeah. It's one of the the famous artists that that has a concert in Europe. Yeah, Otu Arena. He's big. He's making us proud all over. <laughs> sure. Oh. So what do you want me to do with this information? Um, I could show him some of your song and he might like it. And buy them? Um, who knows? I mean, this might be an opportunity for you to use your God-given talent. I mean, you can tell. Mm. What do you think? Talk to him then. All right, sure. Oh, 
sounds horrible. My voice is really bad. What are you saying? This is beautiful. It's perfect. I mean, I'll just edit it and send it to him. Thank you. I You're appreciate. Welcome. You're welcome. So, uh, I have to go now. Go? Yeah. Okay. I like it when you look at me like that. You really make me feel like I can do anything, Chico. Because you can. Serena. <laughs> Serena. They know that we are here. No, we're stuck. Hello, hello. Yes, is this the district, please? Okay, fine. I have an ongoing crime in my residence. Please, I need you people now. Yeah, number number three, number three, um, oh, number three with Dodge Street. Yes. Please, please, please. Thank you. Chike, I will not repeat this again. Stay away from that girl. She will get you into more trouble. Or even worse. You see what the mother did to you? She had you arrested. Chike, people get shot for trespassing. You're laughing. Uh, no, Mom. Um, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> you don't take anything seriously, do you? I do, Mom. I do. I'm sorry, I know you're worried about everything, you're worried how to do, take care of everything and all, but then, Mom, I'm sorry, I, you just don't believe me sometimes, you don't listen to me most times. Listen, you want me to listen to you, but you don't want to listen to me. I listen to you, Mom, I do, I'm sorry. Then can you please just stop stressing me out and act accordingly? Okay, Mom. Thank you. And also, I have a favor for Ubu that I want to ask of you. I know you're not going to like it. Please, Mom. What are you doing here? Do you want me to file a restraining order against you? I'm talking to you! I'm sorry. I really need to see her. It is really important. No, you are not seeing her. Now, get out. Get out of my house! You don't want to leave. Mom, someone is knocking. It's none of your business.
did I not ask you to leave? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Good day, ma. May thunder fire that rotten thing you call a mouth. What is good about the day? Listen, if you do not stay away from my daughter and myself, I tell you something, I will have them arrest you again. And this time around, without no bail, I promise you. Mom, he hasn't done anything wrong. Did you just talk to me? Go back upstairs now. Go. Go! I just came to let you know that I played your song. He likes it. And he wants to sign you. He's waiting for you to travel overseas with him. Really? Yeah. No, 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 no. You are not going anywhere. Listen, my dear child, do not listen to this. Hey. Oh, I will keep. Listen to me. You are set already. You are made. Your future is secure. You do not need any fake, any fake contract or any fake. You don't need them. Listen to me. I have done everything for you. You are set. You don't need this idiot. You have no business hanging around such nuisance. Now, go upstairs. Go upstairs. Your mother is talking to you. You do it. Upstairs. Go back up. Go. 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 Get out. You don't want to be. Go. No, fight me in my house! Fight me, idiot! Fight me! <sighs> Serena! I told you some people can't be saved. Now let's go. You've done more than enough. It's time to put this girl behind us and focus on your trip abroad. Okay? So I ran into your aunt in Kichi the other day and she was very excited and she asked me if you had left the country. What would I have said? I just smiled and stuttered and I said, well, you leave very, very soon. <sighs> That's the way the cookie crumbles. It's sad, but it is what it is. Hope you like the food, though. I took great care in making it. Tell me, are you here for revenge or what? I just want us to talk. Talk? <laughs> talk? Please, when did we start talking? It's about our kids. She's a woman. Isn't she just 21? Age of consent. Whatever. Listen, I want us to have a heart-to-heart -heart discussion about this. Yes. Because honestly, I don't like the way Chike has been acting lately. Oh. <laughs> Oh, you mean your little ruffian son? Haha, <laughs> very funny. <laughs> My son is a good boy. All right? He's just a little reckless, but it's typical for his age. Okay? But above all, Chike is sweet, kind, and he would never hurt a soul. I understand he's taking a liking to your daughter, but our strained relationship might be affecting them being together. Now, me listen. I don't know the full story, but I just want to make peace. I want the best for my son. I want him to be free to choose whomever he wants. I don't want to be the stumbling block in his path. Too many wants for someone that is begging for peace. 
Naomi, are you taking any of this seriously? Because if your daughter cares for my son as much as he cares for her, you would have noticed this. I mean, she literally drew a picture of them kissing back at the hospital. <laughs> but obviously, you don't care so much about your daughter's well-being. If not, you would have cared. Can't you say that their meeting was a stroke of luck? And in this last few months, it has become something so right? Miss Tochi, I'm going to be very honest with you. I have seen a whole lot of changes in my daughter and I tell you something worries me. I care about her, right? I can move the mountains just to put a smile on my daughter's face. That's how much I love her. But in this particular case, my hands are tied. There's little and nothing I can do to save her in this particular case. I do not have a choice, unfortunately. Everybody has a choice. Whatever. My angel. You know, tomorrow is going to be the biggest day of your life. I mean, your happiest day on earth. Because Chief has already invited all his big friends. I mean, his politician friends, relatives, business partners, all of them are going to be present. All because of you. So your wedding is going to be a blast. And also, talk of the town. Mm -hmm. Though it's going to raise some eyebrows because of the age difference, but it doesn't matter. Who cares, really? I am your mother. I know what is good for you. So other people's opinion really do not matter. And I tell you, at the end of the day, you will be so happy, which is the most important thing, to be happy. Okay? So if I were you, I would be very excited. <laughs> I guess. Yes, you should be excited. Yes, because this is a rare opportunity. You are not just blessed, you are also a lucky, favored child. Let me tell you something. Chivotumba already has promised to be tender with you. So I know after your wedding night, you will grow to love him. Mm. You, you, you grow to love someone. You don't fall in love with people at first sight. First love, love at first sight is a scam. It doesn't exist, you know? Yeah, so you will grow in love with him. And judging by Chi's wives, the way he treats them, he bought houses for the wife's relatives. I mean, even the wife's parents are happy. That's how generous he is a very good man that is why i know you will grow in love with him so i just want you my angel to be a submissive wife you know a loving wife just like your mother you know i was like that to your father even though he didn't appreciate me but that's by the way just be submissive yeah hmm? I want to go to bed. Hmm? I want to sleep now. You want to sleep now? Okay. And it's actually good you go to bed now because tomorrow is your big day. We shouldn't be going late. Good night. Mm. Good night. My baby. Serena. My best girl. Mom is here and I just wanted us to, I just want us to talk. Please, can you come out? Serena? Are you there?
ना No. No! No, 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 no. Who is it? Who is at the door? I don't know. It's Serena. Serena? Yeah. What is she doing here? Doesn't she have a home? Uh, um... But she's here already. She's here. It's night. Wait, hang on. What if they've come with police again? Oh, come on, Mom. Hey. Hey. What are you doing here? Hmm? I'm sorry I'm here this late, man. But I really have nowhere to go. Same leg you used to trace your way here. You can as well use it to find your way to your mother's Mom. house. I, I don't want her trouble. Mom, come on. Are you going to let her go out this late? Oh, yes. Watch me. Mom, watch come me. on, Mom. You're not some. She has to go. No, Mom. Okay? She wants to come back to your life, to, to ruin your life, just now that you're getting your life together. Please, Mom, please. Please, Mom, please. I'm sorry, I'll leave. I really need Chike to take me somewhere. <laughs> Chike is not taking you anywhere. Mommy, please, this is... My life depends on this. Please, mommy. Little girl, I am not your mommy. Chiki, you need to go see your cousin, the ghostwriter. Oh, okay. Not that wayward boy. Mom, if you allow Serena to live here right now, she's going to end up getting married to a man old enough to be her father. The only opportunity she has now is to meet my cousin so that she can start a musical career from there. Mom, let me ask you a question. Would you allow me to marry a woman old enough to be my mother? If that's so. I've always known your mom was crazy. But Chike is certainly not taking you anywhere all by himself this night. We will be together, Mom. When you were together, you both ended up in the hospital. So he's not going anywhere all by himself. Mm -hmm. I'm coming along this time. <laughs> I'll just get changed and get my car keys. I'll change too. Let me change. Chicky! Mom, I'm coming. Upstairs. Thank you for calling me. Now why is this stupid girl? Madam, I didn't call you here to come fight anyone. She's delaying something very important. Marrying her off to an old man, he's is that it? He's not too old. It's not her choice. Hmm? Frankly, I'm surprised that you would even consent to this in the first place. Come on, we're both women. And you should understand that she will hate you for the rest of her life. And she will keep blaming you for all her misfortunes. <laughs> She won't blame me for any misfortune because there's not going to be any. I mean, she's getting married to a wealthy man, a proper wealthy man, not your regular guy. And you're comfortable peddling her off to an old man you for money. You better watch your mouth, okay? You don't know anything about me. You have no right whatsoever to speak to me in that manner. You don't even know the situation we are currently in. I mean, if she doesn't get married to this man, we stand the chance of losing our house and being sent back to the village. I'm neck deep in debt. Okay, Naomi. I'm sorry we got off on the wrong foot and I'm willing to make amends. If it's money you want, there are better ways to get it. But you see your daughter, Serena, she's too much to be giving out for less. Son. Hey, mom. How did it go? We went fine. They're offering her a job as a songwriter for the record and also an all less spent paid trip to the UK with their star singer. <laughs> Are you serious? Yes, Mom. Mom, <laughs> come here. You're so 
such an angel. Oh my God. Mom, I did it. I made it. We don't have to worry about anything again. My son. You did very well. I'm so sorry, sorry now, please. It's okay. Forgive me. Mom, it's okay. I, I, I swear, I, I, didn't, I didn't mean to hurt you. I, I was only trying to, to help you, you know, to secure our future. I went about it the wrong way. I made mistakes. I, I understand, know. Mom. It's, I understand you were only I, trying to do it for me. I love you. And will always love you. I love you too. Please don't cry. I love you so much, Seth. <laughs> I've always loved you. Oh my son. Sorry. I am so but proud. I'm not a baby. Yes, you are. You will always be my baby. No. Come here. Sorry. I understand how you feel. Aww. I'm forgiving you. Aww. I hope you're project is too. Now you're making me shy, Mom. <laughs> Serena. Naomi, <laughs> you're welcome. Thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> 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 